Mom. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time Rock for a main event. Of like, and right Logan there. Correct, call it on the first knockdown if he's going to call it instantly on the second. That just like doesn't make sense to me. Whatever the ref sees, maybe he saw him still moving. Three, three, right yeah, but maybe the ref wasn't seen correctly. I just don't always agree with the refs. He stopped it so early, he was getting back up. I just... All respect to Coastal Combat and all respect to Baby Brock, um, to you, Mark the Menace Young. I believe that you deserved much longer in there to make the decision. And to be honest, I hope they put Chris Oliven yeah, in for the next match. He's a much, a much more seasoned cage. and a fair referee. Somebody the night. pissed the Miller off. I'm not Let's pissed off. I just if that was me in that position, I'd be frustrated. Uh, be it is the ref's job to Give be sure that like Anthony, they're actually the injured, Matrix and to me, the menace did not look too injured. Well, Selma. for the California State amateurs, they You're are fighting. not allowed to be hurt. So you were fighting for the California State yeah. title. Let it go a little bit. That's, it However, sounds it is right, over but and done with, and now we are on to our last fight of the card. Oh, King. Leon Shellman fighting out of Alliance Training East against Anthony right, the Matrix and the Silva. Let's get ready for war. And I heard the Matrix wanted all that smoke. I was talking to his coach. Very earlier. similar records. The he King said, in the Red Corner, three wins, no losses against the Matrix with three wins and one loss. Both these men hungry. When you have an undefeated record, though, it's just a different kind of enthusiasm, I would say. Which is why I felt sad for an early stoppage. Yeah. And here we go. King Leon in the blue shorts. Oh, Anthony Matrix in the blue shorts. King Leon in the red. King Leon with a nice, nice takedown. Take down. Uses that single leg to take him down. But oh the my God, an arm bar attempt. That looked deep, but he is out. The king is out already. The Matrix is working well off his back. But the king is just real relentless on trying to pass this guard. The crowd is just so excited. Everybody is up on their feet right now. Anthony the Matrix looking for some form of jujitsu. It looks like he's liking to lock up a triangle. And oh, he's, he's got that triangle. However, it's, it's off the foot. located on the yeah. foot. You want that to be all the way across the ankle. It's pretty loose and much likely to come out right now. It is pretty tight. He could get a finish. Oh, nice slam. Slams are legal. He might get that arm bar. Oh, man, a beautiful slam to get him out now of that position. Now he got a chance to make that a little tighter. However, yes, that's a thing with a slam. It can put you tighter into a submission. But he's out. He's out. What an exciting performance. Uh oh, a he has dart. no darts. The King Leon locking up a darts and trying to spin him through so he can grain him on top. Coach is saying spin through, spin through, just as I had said. But Matrix he with is nice out. defense, going for his own takedown now. But he better be careful not to give up his back. The King is right there. The crowd is saying, let's go, Leon. The entire crowd is up on their feet, and they are screaming for the red corner. But the red corner's in a bad spot. Nice takedown. If he can go to mount here, that would look really good. But Armin Guillotine he's attempt. stuck in a guillotine. Armin Guillotine. He needs to adjust that. He, he can't finish it with just one it's leg It's pretty trap. tight. He's uncomfortable. His face is turning red. I don't think it's going to finish him just yet, but I would like to see the king use his right hand to grab the wrist of Anthony the Matrix and kind of pull that choking arm down. When you're being choked, you want to grab the hand and pull it away from your neck. He's almost out. The However, Matrix being relentless. But now passing he needs to that let guard that go. into side control. The king coming in, raining down some power punches. 10 seconds to go from this first round. King in a better spot. Now he's dropping some heavy ground and pound. Nice. Uh, nice hammer fist at the end. It, it just barely missed. Those hammer fists sure are fun to throw, though. My favorite. 
Don't right. forget about Epic Hammer Family. Fist. You can get tickets right now for Epic 48 at half off. That's right. Go to purplepasstickets.com. Epic 48. And your Great code first word round is early like bird. Her. King Leon, Shalmoon. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in to Epic Fighting. Make sure that you share and tag your friends and teammates. Tag Epic Fighting. Go ahead and give support to these amateurs out here putting it all on the line. A thank you to everyone who's tuned in. We are almost at a close, and man, what a night of fights. All right, then. A very that interesting, because Anthony the Matrix seemed as if he had that triangle locked in, but his foot was locked Let's kind of around his foot, noise. not the ankle. Yeah, just Epic tiny family. little mistakes. The King was able to come out on top, slam him twice, and get a hold of that good position. Yeah. Let's see if he can make those adjustments to this time maybe getting that finish. Oh, oh nice head nice kick. Nice head kick by the King. Oh, the King is coming out with that heat. He came with that knee push kick, too, which... Kind of harsh, but hey, whatever you oh. need to do. Taking him to the truck. Take him to I the truck. would like to see a replay on that to the end to how he landed directly into the truck like that. That was crazy and quite interesting. If the king wanted, he has a twister opportunity here. He can ground and pound. Anthony the Matrix looking to grab that top leg and come on top into a more dominant position. However, he just trapped his own right arm. This is going to allow the king to rain down some heavy punches here. The king is in a great spot. He doesn't have to do a whole lot right here. He's already on his halfway to his back. As I said, he takes the rest of his back. Getting his underhooks in. Now once he can get his hooks in, he's having a lot more control. See what he needs to do now to settle him down is throw some strikes. Make him think about your punches and not you mounting. Nice. Almost reverse, a reverse triangle attempt. But the Matrix with a nice sweep and gets his. Now he's, he's looking for, for that double leg takedown take and he gets it, but he falls and loses position. He's falling as the on King's the way going down. for that switch. The King just and has he heavy pulls pressure. the switch off. Now he's on his side. Nice movement from the King being able to reverse that and come out on top. Yeah, you could just tell the King is a better wrestler. The King has an arm and a leg trapped here. This is allowing him to, to land some solid punches yeah. to the temple. What he needs to do is just keep working those nice, easy punches. Take, take the points he's giving you. And it looks good on the judges' scorecards when nice. someone tries to take you down and you sweep them, reverse and come out on top. Power knees to the hamstring. Makes he didn't like it because he went right down to the ground. It makes that leg nice and weak. I like how he's using his left leg to kind of uh, sprawl out the right leg of the Matrix. It's making him really, it really hard for the Matrix to do anything. Yeah, he's trapping his arm. Base. He's now taking the back now of the Matrix. Now he has that arm trapped as he's taking the back. A very dangerous too. position. However, there's a short time left. There's only 33 seconds. It looks like we will live into round three. Here we go. Wow, beautiful slam the by the King. with a nice power slam. Now just cradling him up. From that cradle leg, but then like the guillotine attempt from the Matrix, he's like, nah, bro, I'm gonna throw you right on your head instead. 10 seconds left. The King is just putting it on the clinic right now. Just straight grappling, easy takedowns. It is nice very hard control. to score because we also have seen a lot of attacks from the Matrix. However, once he's getting those attacks, he's getting reversed in the meantime. Let's watch the replay. See right there? Oh, oh nice man, that head, head kick. kick, though. Give it up for our Epic Ring oh. Girls, ladies and gentlemen. Epic Ring Girls. It looks as if the replay and the judges are giving job. that round oh to the my. king. Yeah, it looks like it. he's the one in dominant positions, doing Makes a lot sense. of the work. You know, for for both of us being from the jujitsu background, we love the butt person throwing up submission attempts, and we want to score it like everybody should. But a lot However, of times, the don't. judges don't always feel that way. I've seen a lot of times tonight where the judges ended up scoring much heavier on the striking. The striking. So when it comes down to it, finish your opponent. Do not leave it up to the judges because you just never know. You never know. You don't know what judges you have. You don't know what they like. You don't know what their preference are. 
So we are in round three of an epic battle. Third and final round. Let's go. Light heavyweight title on the line. Body. Oh wow! When the king went for a the body shot, nice. Anthony the Matrix landed a powerful strike, rocked the chin of the king. The king made a king mistake. Went for a takedown, but pulled the Matrix on top of him, which is a very dangerous thing to do when very you have two dangerous. minutes and 40 seconds left in your third and final round. It's anyone's game right now. Now, if the Matrix could just go for a head and arm and go for a no hand pass, he would end up in mount real fast. He's in the mount now right he's in now. Mount. Now he needs to push Create him some down. some space and, and throw down, dude. As hard I, as he can. Honestly, I would try to knock him out if I could. What he's now going for. There you go. This is your shot. Don't How leave it to the judges. Loses position, but ends up passing into side control into a more dominant position. In the red corner, they're screaming the for an arm bar. The Matrix is doing a good job staying heavy. However, staying heavy won't win him this fight. He's going to have to cause some damage. Super damage. He needs to go knee on belly right now and try to get back across to that mount and just go back to that damaging shot. So in the amateur, mark. they are allowed to throw elbows, however, not to the face. So he's throwing those elbows to the ribs and the body, which is legal. As the Matrix moves back into mount, I would like to see some damage here. He has to. He has to push to action the right now. The King doing a good job of getting a one leg nice. inside. Oh, oh. The Matrix with the only oh. locked in RNC. This is a bad day for his the hands. King. He's fighting it his may hands. be over. And good defense from good the King. Defense. He manages He's out, to escape. Back into the mount, getting pounded out again. The ref may stop this the fight. The Matrix is just driving. At least this ref is giving him an opportunity to fight back. This is how it should be. The ref should <laughs> let it go for a championship round. Do not fight these stops early. I hope the ref listens to me complaining about it. Let these men fight, dude. Never mess They're up here when for the Killer California Miller State is title. Fights. They are fighting for a California State title. I want to see a war. The Matrix got a minute to finish this. A head and arm choke. It looks like it's in tight, but the King doing a good job of defending. There's 45 seconds Hugging left. that leg. Now, if you the were Matrix, the Matrix, would you continue to go for this submission thing, or would you just go back to the I would listen mount? to my corner. I can't hear what his coaches are saying, but whatever your coaches tell you to do, that's what I would go for, to be completely honest. 30 seconds If they told to me to go for the arm bar, I'd go for the arm bar. If they tell me to choke him, I would choke him. Right now, your coaches know best. They know your style and what you want to do. However, the king is defending. Personally, I would let go. I would try to break the arm. I like the arm, and I like breaking them. It's fun for me to hear that crack. He lets go and is causing some damage. They're back Punches. on their feet with 10 seconds left. Wow. I think that takedown right there might have cost him. A king, the king ended this fight with a takedown in the very last second. I'm unsure what happened here. Oh, it made a pipe his rib. There was some damage caused by the Matrix of Souza. I'm unsure what happened if he's grabbing his rib. He dropped out his mouth guard and he fell to the ground. However, you do not want to show oh, yeah. this to the judges. When the judges see that, they think that the king just damaged him, which rightfully he did because he showed us that. It's hard to say because pain can be unbearable, but when you are injured, do not let the judges see you injured before the decision. Wait until after the decision to show your hurt. Because if the judges see that, they're like, oh man, the king caused some major damage on that last takedown. That's what I would see if I was a judge, right? It all depends on what the judges are looking at. Yeah, I just, you know what? I do not like to show that I'm injured in the cage. I literally wait till I'm out the doors and then I'll tell my coach, man, she almost knocked me out. I'm feeling faint right now. Oh, somebody's getting three titles. Three. I believe that one was already a past title, and now they are going to be given two. Thank you guys so much for oh, coming out tonight. The I Hopefully I'll see you back here at this booth. No, I better. <laughs> the original gangster, Carlos oh, Kramer, well, coming in to announce the winner. Event, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for these two warriors. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecard. Your first judge scores about 29 28, Schlemoon. Your next judge scores about 
29, 28, De Silva. Oh, wow. wow. It is one and one. This is a really and hard decision. Judge. Got scores win. about 29, 28 for your winner by split decision. An epic fighting lightweight champion, the California State Both lightweight in champion and IFC champion, Anthony The Matrix. The Matrix. The I guess they were scoring for our jiu-jitsu today. Finally, finally. That's the International Fighter Council. And an incredible fight. I can understand Mark the disappointment Real. in the king. However, do not leave it up to the judges. When you're on the top, you have finish to that finish. fight. You finish have that to fight. go to the finish, bro. He'll look back at this fight and know all the spots he knew he could have finished. The triple champ, around, champ, champ, the, the North the American, the IFC, the, the International the Fight Council the Championship, the Epic you. Fighting Champion, and the California right State Champion. He is receiving some nice words from Harvey Castanalo in the corner. A huge thank you to Jason Stewart and Harvey Castanalo for giving all these amateurs a place to make a name for themselves, to build themselves up before going professional. It is absolutely incredible. I would also like to give a giant thank you to all of our sponsors. Uh, the first one is gonna be Hidden Valley Genetics. Uh, they right, helped provide one of the, the Fight of the Night what trophies. Best clones in California. Anthony the Major De Silva, what do you have to say about that absolute war in the cage and your opponent? Making such a great fight in history. And a special shout out to, to Carlos you, Kramer, to Kramer Insurance. Oh, like all me, that's fine. the uh, we took all me on car ten days notice. Epic I didn't have to give him this chance. Insurance. My opponent Carlos pulled out. I could have been in the stands with y'all. I didn't have to give you this Carlos fucking opportunity, but I did. I came in here slightly that's injured, incredible. which you know, so that's not an excuse. We all go through things, but I had a hard fucking training camp to get here, and I got unfinished finishes with Fernando. Man, you ran out of that fight on ten days notice, and I'm not fucking done with your ass. Who would you like to thank that got you to this point right here today? One more time, please. If you look at those epic One more time, shorts, sir. Who would you like to thank? Your team, your coaches, family, supporting you the whole way to get here right now, champ. First and foremost is Malik, man. That guy puts in as much time as I do with the preparation, with the game planning. He meets with me to practice. Next up is my family that fucking follow me everywhere, even at enemy territory like this. So if any of y'all really want it, bro, we came fucking loaded tonight. And what's next for you after earning these three belts tonight? Fernando Medina, that's what's next. That's who I was supposed to fight in the first fucking place. I really wanted that fight, man. I'm sorry you had to pull out like that. I want that fight. Now, if you are still watching. Yeah. All right, looking good for our next fight right here. Epic fighting family. Incredible time. Incredible work ethic, champ. You did it. You have now three titles. Let's give it up, everybody, for our new champ. That's right, Anthony the Matrix da Selva. The triple champ, champ, champ. He's going the champ, home. Champ, champ, champ. Feeling fire tonight. Hey, 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 hey. Thank hey. you for having me. My name is Juliana. The Killer Miller. You can find me at Killer Miller MMA. I would like to say thank you to my man here, Matthew D. Hustle Spencer. Or you can actually catch me also at Monster MVP. So I'm Face off, here. gentlemen. I'm always everywhere. You can get your massages, fitness. Ooh, training, I might have to take you up on that offer. Oh, look at right. there's a face-off going on right war, now. It looks like the Matrix already has a new opponent. That guy seems to want his belts. February 18th. Amazing, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. We love you. February 18th.